You didn't mean to say that I know it just triggered you. Yeah, like on the phone, like he just, yeah, like, yeah. I, it was annoying because it's like, I know it's something small, but something small really mean a lot to you because you're in jail. So I get it. I get it. But it's like sometimes when you focus on something so small and then forget about what's actually happening. That person like me, I felt so like defeated. Like, what's up? What? I'm not going to just argue with you. Fuck you, bitch. Woo woo. Hung up. He ain't called back. All I see is his little Instagram just changed. Okay, that's cute. That's not gonna make me mad. It really does. It's gonna make me wanna just wait for you to call back. Can we are you ready to talk? Or what? If you're not, then okay, then just stand on it. I'm not over here. I don't know. I don't know how somebody could be pretending. You only be you can pretend if you're benefiting. I'm like, baby, I love you to death, but nobody can't be pretending with you. And I'm not even benefiting from the situation. You are. Your bills is getting paid. You got somebody to hold you down, all type of shit. And then it's the person you actually fuck with. Like, yeah, your little flings or whoever you be in, in, intertwined in, you really don't actually really fuck with them, but. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got egos. Niggas have to go through shit to know that. Boom, God took what you actually really want. You had right in your face, and all of a sudden, you wanted me with you. And it's not because, oh, you locked up. The, no, you come home in a couple months. I know it's not jail talk. It's just the fact that you have to live something, or get revealed something, and then try to double back on it, and it's like, all right, let's work it out. Then it doesn't work out because we're still stuck on trauma. Like, you're, you're stuck on me passing out at my house instead of, like, making it here. If I tell you I couldn't make it here and you could have still called me, I would have still answered. Like, what the hell? You? It was funny because the, the day before that, he, I went out. But I'm, like, you know, out, like, out, like, and basically posted up with, um... So Dr. Trey pulled up with some girls. Um, I didn't know them. Uh, I was like, all right, bet we should just go out or whatever. We never really went out. Like we were just, we went to the liquor store. We drank something, shit. Um, we 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 went to this one place, but I don't know. I just wasn't in the mood to really just be outside for her. I really just wanted to get drunk. So. But he was on the phone the whole entire time of like the whole situation. He's like, you're going now. I'm like, well, not really. Not See what the plot is, but you're not outside yet. Like you're not outside yet. We ain't really going nowhere yet. We went to this one uh, spot in, uh, there's one spot in, uh, Sherman Oaks. Boom, we went to Sherman Oaks. And then, like, within five minutes, we left that location. They didn't have liquor that I wanted. I wanted Hennessy. They didn't have Hennessy. They had some vodka. I don't know what they had. It was just whatever. Boom, we go to the liquor store. But on my way to the liquor store, he calls me. He's like, you're going out. I said, well, I'm really just trying to get drunk. What, you want to stay on the phone? He's like, no, I don't want to uh, intrude. I said, you're not intruding, babe. I love you. You can stay on the phone. You feel me? Like, he like, no, no, no. You know, I don't want to be a part of it because, no, babe, you can stay on the Like, I have to keep saying it. So he finally stays on the phone. Um, He popped back in on the call. This one, I'm loaded. We're, I'm drunk talking all the time. She's like, where you at? I said, What's the, and then I asked him, like, what's that place that be, like, after hours for food? Uh, and he, like, Barry's. I was like, oh, I'm about to go to Barry's, then I'm going to go home. He said, okay, cool. I said, you're going to stay on the phone, right? Like, yeah. We're on the phone the whole ride there. We get there, he's still on the phone with me. He like, all right, babe, I'm going to put the phone down and watch TV, and then I'm going to come back. Da, da, da. He kept doing that the whole night. So I'm like, what was the problem? Like, like yesterday, you could have did the same thing yesterday, like... You know how I am. I'm just out, but 
Like, you know, like, I'm not out getting distracted, posted up with a nick. Like, I'm not out, like, you know, tripping. Yeah, I'm explaining myself because I really care for him. And, you know, that's what it is. Period.